Hello, 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 everybody. It is I, J-Malls of J-Malls Gaming, here today with a video that surprised me, honestly. I was not expecting this today, but we got a Shin Megami Tensei 5 story trailer for the Nintendo Switch. And if you know me, you know I like my SMT Persona games. So let's get right into this, shall we? Okay, let's get right into this. I'm not gonna lie to you, this bit reminds me of the reactor from Final Fantasy VII, the original, not the remake. Look at that freaking Dementor from Harry Potter. There's the protagonist, okay. Need to walk the white path, a power forbidden by God. Take a good look. Well, that ain't good, now is it? This is a story trailer, so we should get more details about the actual plot for this game. Possibly happened to Tokyo. Well, whatever it is, it resulted in that, and that ain't good. I was going to say that looked like the guy, one of the personas from Persona. Duh. Is there anything like C's? Look at that dude. Guy from the Pi for four, not this person. I will say that freaking power suit's pretty nice. Okay, yeah, personally, I'm not gonna fight that thing. Like, this is not Dark Souls 1. I don't think I need to fight a Hydra. Okay, personally, I try to move out of the toxic breath. I wouldn't try and breathe it in, that's just a personal thing. Murakumo, okay. Oh my god, freaking Giga Drill, but with water. A lot of diverse environments in this game. I really appreciate that. That was a really cool visual. The giant skull with the snake coming out of it. Oh, it's Alice. Dang! Okay, Alice got moves. Hold on. Divine Arrowfall? Oh, that did some AOE. Something I can be proud of. Well. Rip for that person. Have some the chat for, her, for that person. I've now drawn him into this. So he so he's gonna be responsible for for this. Or in some way. I mean protecting Tokyo. Oh, he's probably on the squad. Like the sea the seas people. Perhaps I was mistaken. You must bring it about yourself. Nice freaking power armor, okay. I have the power of God and anime on my side. I like that lightsaber. A pitiable lamb for slaughter, another arbitrary sacrifice. Oof. You need hold back no longer. And I mis underestimated this whole fighting thing. Yeah, that'll happen. Nice wings, by the way. Okay. That does not look good for our hero. Okay, so not a Dementor. We have now established this and we have learned this. Okay. Is that Lucifer? Hold on. Shin Megami Tensei 5. You already know. You already know. Okay, also, we can we all agree that this is the tree from, you know. Oh god, why can't I remember the name? Elden Ring, that's the name. I'm an idiot. Can we all just admit that this is the tree from Elden Ring? Can we just, like, agree as, like, a people? Like, just admit it? Like, it's fine, it looks cool, I'm just saying. It's the same thing. But, hold on. I recognize those wings, because these wings got me through Persona 5 Royal. This is Lucifer, I guarantee it. I'm probably wrong in that, in that count. But, it look, those look like, if you know the Persona, from Persona 4 or Persona 5, it looks like Lucifer. And in this game, it looks like they hit, like, scale and then up. But like 20 times because this dude's ginormous look I, this is a giant tower if we're in tokyo it might be tokyo tower i don't know so this dude's gonna be massive like freaking bigger than a transformer yeah so story wise i'm unfamiliar with the story of the other shouldn't make me 10 games outside of persona but from what i'm gathering here 
is that there was some event that started to combine the worlds of the demons and the world of humans, in this case, Tokyo. Because I don't think we're going to be navigating outside of the confines of Tokyo. Tokyo's a big city anyway, so we don't really need to with a story. But there's some kind of, like, big event that combined the two worlds, or at least linked them, and now the demons are coming into our world. My question is, are there any humans going into the demon world? And will we, as, like, a part of the second half of the game or something, go into the demon world? Through that connection. Or was it just like a singular moment that connected these worlds and these demons got through at that point? And now we're just kind of like stuck with them. This dude's freaking massive. I forget. It's like Sir or Sut or something like that. Valkyrie. It seems like Valkyrie's going to be more of a base mob. We have Bethel Japan are dedicated to the security of Tokyo. So this is, I think, the main scene here. Because I think this is going to be our main cast of characters. And that this will be the group we work with for most of the game. They, I kind of think they'll probably do like a heel turn like in like typical JRPG fashion. fashion. Where they'll probably turn evil halfway through or something. But we have Bethel Japan, the blasphemous might of the no Nahobino. This armor is freaking cool. This protagonist design is freaking great. But, he sh but we shall make full use of it. Blasphemous Might of the Nahabu, you know. I don't know where this power came from. I'm assuming the demon world. But we shall make full use of it. Now, personally, like I said before, personally, I wouldn't just, you know, go toe-to-toe -to -toe with this thing. It has giant spikes for chin, yeah? It's the crimson chin. But in this case, a giant spike. And in terms of crimson, it's going to be your blood. I'm getting out of there. Oh, that's rough. I saw, cr I saw like, four criticals there. Oof. Big oof. It's interesting to me, because I'm so used to Persona, right? Where your party members are other, p are other people. Well, in this game, it seems to be that the other party members are other demons that you've recruited. So we got, like, Jack-O-Lantern... Oh god, it's one of the angels. We're gonna just say, we're gonna just throw a, a dot at the dartboard and say Gabriel. Probably wrong on that one, but we're just gonna say it and act like we're right. All stats are maxed out? Okay. Murakumo looks freaking awesome, by the way. It's a giant Giga Drill, but with water. Why does this part remind me of Dragon God 3? I have no idea why, but it reminds me of that scene from Dragon God 3. Where the giant dragon takes a dump. I do not know why I thought of that. Or why this scene connected that to me with that scene from Dragon God. But we're going to try and move swiftly past that. That scene. Either this part is like underground. You kind of can see because of the walls here. Or maybe it's like in the demon realm itself. No, I... It seems like this is probably just... Let me see. Because they showed this bit at the very beginning as well. Yeah, right here. You can see how there's a giant tunnel. We're well, talking about there's a giant tunnel. So there's some, clearly some kind of subterranean, subterranean element to this game. I think this is just like a sneak peek at that. Now, if you can only find that scene, that'd be freaking amazing. Yeah, right here. So it makes me believe that this is going to be under Tokyo. And it's going to be part of the subterranean element. I do not know where this came from. I'm assuming it came from the demon world. It seems like there's something slithering through. Maybe it's like a symbol. Or maybe there's like another demon that got killed or something. It'll be interesting to see where this, come, where this goes. That's Alice. I know that persona. And it seems like Die For Me plus 5. King Buffalo plus 5. So... I'm going to need to know more about these skills because a plus five is intriguing to me. So can we just rank up individual skills to make them more powerful? Or is King Buffalo the actual name of the persona? Because I always forget that guy's name. I think it's the name of the persona. Now, this I'm assuming this bit is going to be at the beginning of the game. Unless they do that thing like a lot of stories do where they... Cut up bits of the story that happened before the current events and interlace them throughout the campaign. So this will probably be like some of the opening. 
I chose to fight alongside Bethel, but I've now drawn him into this. I can't do it. You mean protecting Tokyo? I presumed you were acting on behalf of all humanity. Perhaps I was mistaken. You must bring it about yourself. This tells me that they're going to pull the thing where it's not the monsters that are the villains, it's one of the human groups. So it's either this Bethel group, or it's going to be this individual that's talking about leaving. I'm assuming Bethel. That's what I'm assuming, man. Yeah, this looks pleasant. You know, like, giant fiery shrine, everybody's dying, got a corpse right here, and this dude... And this dude's like on his knees praying. You would always know that something bad's going to happen or has already happened. My bet is on it's already happened. So yeah. That was the story trailer for Shin Megami Tensei 5. I'm more intrigued about the story as well. I'm kind of glad they did it like this. Because a lot of games when they do a story trailer. They kind of spoil a lot of the story elements and story beats. That happened in the trailer. This one felt like it more kind of just whetted my appetite. More so than giving me direct spoilers. It gave me more insight into the actual world. A bit more. Not too much. And showed off some, I'm assuming, new gameplay parts as well. Because I don't remember seeing things like the wolf monster. Or the underground bit. Maybe it's just been a bit since I've seen the reveal trailer. But... I am perfectly content with this trailer. Thank you all for tuning in. My pleasure for making the video. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like and subscribe if you like the video and you want to see more content. I know I would appreciate it. Stay safe out there. Have a great day, and I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye, everybody.